Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a post-tubal ligation surgery video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be explaining my procedure, how I got it done, any side effects, any weight gain, any acne, um, any how it's done, what I got to do before it, and how I feel about it after I got it done. So if you guys would like to see how everything went, then just keep on watching. So guys, how I feel about everything. I feel amazing. I am so proud I got it done. I would not change anything in the world or go back in the past and change my mind. Um, I did get my tubes tied. So how the procedure is done, they gave me special soap. I did paperwork. Um, when I got home, I took my I took my shower. They give you a soap about this size, about travel size, and um, it's a special antibacterial soap. So you take a bath at night and you focus it on your stomach and your pelvic bone, and then you take another shower in the morning and you do the same thing. So you can be super squeaky clean. And um, you get to the doctors. That's what happened to me. I went in at five in the morning, and the, as they said, I was one of their first patients patience um so it was really like uh, for me nerve-wracking and it did last it didn't last that long i'm pretty sure it lasted about 30 to 45 minutes the whole procedure um the surgery and once i got in there i was undressed from head to toe they did um give me a um a gown to have and since i am breastfeeding they did wrap a bandage around my breasts and put pads, uh, breastfeeding pads on there so I wouldn't leak, I know, TMI, but oh well. Um, I did get an IV. They did put in uh, lidocaine into my IV and that was horrible. It burned. I didn't even so feel the IV go in so that was worth the pain. I think worth the burn but anyways, after that I all I felt was like my stepsister being escorted out and she's like bye I'll see you later and then like I'm looking at the damn lights going passing by when they're wheeling me out of the room and all I remember is the lady saying the nurse saying okay Stephanie we're gonna give you some medicine to fall asleep and I remember saying O oh, and then I can't remember saying the letter K like oh like that's all I remember saying and it was pretty funny because all you feel like under general anesthesia all you feel is like if you just blink and wake up like you don't dream you don't nothing just blink and you're awake and the nurses are telling you Stephanie Stephanie wake up you know you have to wake up to be able to get some pain medication you know the anesthesia has to get out of your system or whatever and it was pretty pretty intense um, I've never been under general anesthesia this is my first surgery and it was very very tough for me because I did not know what I was going to look like down there or anything on my stomach they don't go into your private part or anything they just like cut above your pelvic bone and they do an incision about this small and um well, when I got home I found that out like I didn't know what it looked like or anything and I just picked up my shirt and I saw it um it was really weird to me because I had like four dots and then my belly button in the middle, I had four dots and I thought they went in with like a liposuction needle thing and I thought they like opened it up or something and I had another incision at the bottom. So I thought I was like, oh my god, I thought I was like cut in four or five different places and I wasn't. When I went to the OBGYN she told me it was just the clamp glue from the clamps where we grabbed your stomach and I was like, oh my god. This whole time I thought it was freaking incisions in my stomach but no thankfully it's not they do do a small tiny incision like the size of a centimeter inside your belly button and then under uh, on top of your pelvic bone it's like really really tiny like maybe half an inch and you can't see it at all like when it heals you cannot see it at all and it's perfect side effects they did say I was gonna have like pressure on my chest because of, they pump gas into you so they can see like your stomach expand and they see everything like and it's easier to like do whatever they got to do down there but um I didn't have any side effects nothing my shoulders didn't hurt my back didn't hurt um I took all my pen medications maybe that's why <laughs> um 
I was prescribed like this really really good um, ibuprofen. It was it was really good. Um, weight gain. I had lost all my baby weight before I got my surgery done, but then after like I had to be on soups and bed rest and pump and dump and whatever for like three days. I couldn't move that much. Like it was it was really like I felt heavy. I didn't feel pain. I felt heavy. So, um, that, like, I did have a lot of help around here, so I ended up gaining weight, like, I gained 10 pounds back that I didn't have, and it was really depressing for me, and then I started not producing breast milk, then that was even more depressing, I was stressing about not making breast milk, I was stressing about, um, you know, the pain, acne. I did not have any acne whatsoever. Um, I usually have, um, I only have like acne scarring from like when I was 14, 15, and 16, 17. But um, other than that, I've only got like one pimple here and I haven't got any pimples. So I think it's just like the normal period. Um, I haven't got my period. I only start, I only spotted for like three days um, a month after. But that's it. I like I spotted really lightly pink. Like when you barely start, that's how much it started. Like that. But that was it. Only when I, when I would wipe, I didn't have to wear anything. Um, headaches. I did not have no headaches. Again, I was on medication, so everything was good. Um, hair loss. I didn't have any hair loss until now. Three months after. Three and a half months after. Um, I am going bald here on my. Um, entradas, but <laughs> on my whatever they're called. Um, but I think that's just like pre post post pregnancy, post um, post baby, postpartum. Um, I've always lost hair, and like I always have like really frizzy hair, but I don't have that much anymore. But um, it's all going like it's like big amounts of hair that I'm losing right now. But I think that's just like postpartum. So. Um, I think I covered everything. Now, the f most important question of all, do I regret getting my tube side? And no, I do not. I actually have four children. I am blessed with my four babies. I decided to get my tubes tied when I was four months pregnant. And, um, I found out something about my child that changed my whole world. And... We decided that would be our last child and I decided that would be my last child coming from me like coming from my body because I feel like I need to give them all the attention I can right now uh, that they're young I feel like I need to pay for their colleges that's four colleges I got to pay for um, and I have to pay like teach them and I, that's four children for one more important thing if you're a woman um, sex I it does say to wait a week and I kind of lied to my husband and said he had to wait two weeks but he found out on online he was like I'm not waiting two weeks he checked and he's like you only have to wait one week and I was like yeah but it's how comfortable you are afterwards to have sex but yeah that's really important what you decide what you feel comfortable with and what you're gonna do next is basically your your decision so I hope I covered everything for anybody out there questioning the tubal ligation surgery mine were um, clipped and tied so I'm pretty sure I can't get a reversal I'm I don't think I want to get a reversal I'm satisfied thanks for watching this video and I'll see you until next time